Hey guys, and welcome to the Lady Studios. Yes, I know, I said I wasn't planning to do anything specific with the pack, but I just couldn't stand it. I saw so many awesome stuff going on at YouTube and on Twitter and on my Discord channel. It was just amazing, and I just really want to do something myself. So, um, I am going to make a studios park. Welcome to the Lady Studios. And um, this is all going to be about cities and, of course, a lot of um, movie scenes and that kind of stuff. To give you the idea, this is the uh, globe, of course, this is from Universal Studios, which I gave my own touch, I guess. And um, this will not be a part of the entrance this will be a part of an eye catcher you have when you walk through the main street you walk towards this globe with the lady studios on it of course and um, from there on there will be two roads splitting up from the roundabout and you will have different areas with a lot of main street hollywood buildings with a lot of stuff happening so the idea is to walk into a movie studio well it's not a studio of course but outside and everywhere is stuff happening with lots of cars lots of props lots of everything so it's gonna be like you don't know where to watch but still it will have the theme park feeling of course and I'm also planning to make like those small little popcorn stands and balloon stands to give it a little bit more of the realistic feeling. So a lot of small details coming up. And um, so when you have the roundabout with that globe in the middle of it, I will be planning because there will be water uh, behind that globe and also underneath the globe, which you will see in a second. And um, I'm planning to make some kind of theater, some kind of amphitheater with a big show going on over there. And we will use the vista points as the people will look at the show, of course. And that theater will be kind of sunken in the ground and will be a little bit raised into the terrain. So we will have different heights, different variations of it. And that will maybe depending a little bit how it will look in the end but maybe be some kind of weenie some kind of eye catcher from the total area but I'm not really sure if that is able I'm able to do that but that is at least a plan and my main inspiration will be a little bit of the Sydney Opera House so you have a little bit of an idea what kind of shape I'm going for um, next to that, I will try to make a water show and a fireworks show, but if I will do those, I will do that at the end of the whole park, so you don't, you will not see that during the series, but totally at the end if I'm planning to do so. What I'm also trying to do will be some kind of trailer park, bungalow park, so a feeling of the trailer park like you can see at movie sets and I will try to implement the hotels for that I have no idea if it's gonna work but that is at least a plan with lots of roads and uh, of course some buses going through you will see at this episode that I placed one track of a bus I'm just planning to maybe let one or two buses not more drive through the park so you get a little bit more of the realistic feeling so it will be used by people but it will definitely be not like a ride or that you constantly see buses going up and down it really needs to have the feeling like there's just one bus uh taking like your movie stars to the other side of the area something like that so it's not like you see buses and people walking through it all the time. I really don't want to have that feeling. Um, but there will be more of those rides in, of course. I will definitely plan at least one ride with like really a lot of uh, action going on with a lot of triggers. And next to that, I might just make another track just to have one or two buses going from from the one side to the other side again so um, I really want to play with that a little bit um, next to that uh, as in rides I will try to uh, build some more coasters because I, I know you guys like it but I 
can't promise you those will be perfect, but at least I will do some heavy theming around it, which will make it pretty awesome at least to write it. <laughs> and um, as well for a lot of shows, of course, a lot of movie sets and a few flat rides, probably the, the ones I think that will fit later on. Um, later on in this video, you will also see something with street lights. Now bear with me because I was googling for those guys and I was like, how do they look for real? And I just couldn't find the right picture. So if you guys have any tips for me of how to make those uh, street lights work, how to place them that it looks as realistic as possible, because I just really had no idea. So maybe you guys can share me a link of a picture of how I can build those because I was really struggling with that. Uh, talking about struggling, the path system was like hell. It took me, I think, three hours to uh, place the path at this roundabout. And I, I didn't record it all because I didn't want to bore you guys. But I had to uh, stop recording a lot of times to redo the path over and over again. It was really a struggle. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? But I think in the end it works. And... Um, I think uh, hopefully when the guests come in, it will look really awesome. And so yeah, bear with me. <laughs> um, last thing, but not least, Rudy Rankamo and I were just chit chatting yesterday and I was showing him some screenshots and he was sending me some screenshots of his park. And um, so we decided to probably just um, throw the parks to each other and sometimes he will make an episode for me sometimes I will make an episode for him so we will just um, be playing a little bit with the parks together and uh, so he is going to build my entrance later on in this series which I'm totally excited about because he oh, of course really has some awesome ideas for that so I will put the link in the description if you don't know Rudy Rankemo yet because he's an amazing creator in Planet Coaster. And uh, yeah, well, when the time is there, you guys will definitely find out when he will be making an episode for the Daily Studios and when I will be making an episode for his studios park. So it's going to be really exciting. Uh, last but not least, uh, please tell me if you have any awesome idea for this park, I was even thinking of maybe make one area with like a lot of zombies like that is destroyed by a zombie apocalypse or something like that. Just to have like the main street area in that specific way. So there will be like three big main street areas for, for your information and like one I could decide to go for a zombies area for example but there are so many awesome ideas so I'm pretty sure you guys come up with some really awesome different themes as well so just let me know what you think and uh, tell me what you think of the studios pack so far and I'm not really sure but maybe you still have a chance to win a copy if you are quick because it's ending this Sunday in a few hours so I will put a link in the description and I'm sorry if you, you just found it out too late but uh, yeah there is still a chance to win a copy of the studios DLC wow okay th guys thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comment section what you think of this episode please leave a like of course at the video because it really helps the channel and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the rest of this project thank you guys so much for watching bye guys